Here's a patient with a left bundled branch block. If I told you this patient is having chest pain, you might have a difficult time picking up ST segment changes, that is, compared to someone with a normal EKG. But thankfully, the Scarbosa criteria can be helpful in specifically teasing out EKGs that may look more worrisome than they should be. On EKGs with left bundle branch blocks, it is normal to have discordance. In a left bundle branch block, the sequence of repolarization is altered, and in this case, the ST segment and T wave vectors are in the opposite direction to the QRS complex. This is what we call discordance, and in the setting of a left bundle branch block, this is normal, so we call this appropriate discordance. This is important to realize because these changes can mask the ST segment depression and T wave inversions that are caused by myocardial ischemia. This is where the Scarbosa criteria comes in. It's a tool that you could use to help you read through EKGs with left bundle branch blocks in patients you are concerned for myocardial ischemia. It's composed of three criteria on a scale from 0 to 5. The first criteria is concordant ST elevation greater than 1 mm in leads with a positive QRS complex. If you see this on an EKG, you assign a score of 5. Looking at this in more detail, here you see your EKG lead with a positive QRS complex. In this case, you have your ST segment going in the same direction. This is what we call concordance, when both the QRS complex and the ST segment elevation are going in the same direction. If there are concordant ST elevations greater than 1 mm, you assign a score of 5. The next criteria is concordant ST depressions greater than 1 mm in leads V1 through V3. Again, looking at this in more detail, here you see a negative QRS complex and concordant ST depression because both the QRS and ST segments are going in the same direction. When you see this in V1 to V3, you assign a score of 3. The final criteria is the presence of excessively discordant ST elevations greater than 5 mm in leads with a negative QRS complex. In this case, the QRS complex and the ST segment are going in the opposite directions. This is called discordance. Remember, in the setting of a left bundle branch block, this is normal. However, if the discordance is greater than 5 mm, you would consider this to be too much and therefore suggestive of ischemia. So when you see excessive discordance, you assign a score of 2. Now that we've gone through the scoring system, what you need to know is that a Scarbosa criteria, or score, of greater than or equal to 3 is highly specific, up to 98%, but much less sensitive, about 20%. In other words, because concordance assigns you more points, when you see an EKG with concordance, this is bad and more suggestive of ischemia compared to excessive discordance alone. And although the Scarbosa criteria is highly specific and much less sensitive, you can increase sensitivity by comparing changes with previous EKGs or observing dynamic changes with serial EKGs. Here's an example of a patient who's having chest pain. On their EKG, you could see concordant ST elevation in leads 2, V5, and V6, and concordant ST depressions in lead V1, V2, and V3. In this case, this patient has a Scarbosa criteria of greater than 3, and therefore myocardial ischemia, even in the setting of a left bundle branch block, should be considered. 